Well, if you want them to listen, you have to speak their language, and their language is numbers. They make most decisions based on research. So if we can gather some research to help justify our recommendations, they'll listen to us. So before we communicate something, we can do some audience research, find out what the issues are, what the concerns are, to make sure that we're actually addressing the right issues to get the business results the executives wanted. Then when we think we've crafted the right messages, it's very useful to pre-test them, even if it's with five people. Because if you can pre-test it, then you'll be anticipating any negative reactions or misunderstandings, and you can make the changes before you distribute this information to everyone. And then finally, you want to show that there's a connection between your communication and business results. You can do that sometimes with surveys, where you can ask the people who changed their behavior in some way how much impact different communications had on that decision. Or you can do it through a pilot program, where either you purposely or accidentally use different communication approaches with different subgroups, and you can see if the results are different with those groups. So that's how you communicate with management in a way they listen to you, speak their language.